this is the second video in uh, some integration and revision videos. Um, this time we've asked to solve a differential equation. So, um, and we're actually going to need some, uh, well, you'll see what we need. We're going to need a particular technique, uh, integration technique, in order to help us solve this differential equation. So, in order to solve a differential equation, the ones we get in C4, so we have to separate the variables. So we've got our expression for dy dx here. Now if I divide by y, I get the expression dy over y is equal to, and if I multiply by dx at the same time, I get x squared cos x dx. So I've separated all the x's onto the right hand side in this case and the y onto the left. So we can actually now integrate so if we integrate both sides, I've got to find the integral of y, uh, 1 over y dy, and I've got to find the integral of x squared cos x dx. Now, the left-hand side is easy. left-hand side is just a common pattern you need to spot that you're going to get ln y. The right-hand side, however, is a little bit more tricky. And we should spot that it's a product of two different x functions. We've got the x squared function, and we've got the cosine of x function. So this is going to be an integration by parts. And now you need to know the formula for integration by parts. And that looks like this. The integral of u dv dx uh, dx is equal to u v minus the integral of v du dx x. So our u is one of our functions, and in this case we're going to choose u to be x squared. Cos x is going to be dv dx, and that's the product of two terms. And then you can you work out all the various elements. So let's write this down over here. We're going to have u as x squared, and then if we have u as x squared, we need u here and du dx, so we need to differentiate. D, d, du dx is equal to 2x. Now if we have dv dx, as our other function, which is cos x, then we've got dv dx, we need a v, and we need a v, so we need to integrate. So integral of so our sine differentiates to cos, so cos integrates to sine. That saves us a little bit of hassle without any negatives. So we can say this right-hand side, then, is we can say it's uv, so we pick out u and v, which is x squared sine x minus the integral of what have we got minus the integral of v du dx so it's v and du dx which is minus 2x sine x dx which is slightly easier because we've now got um, instead of having a product x squared cos x, we've now got to integrate a product of 2x sine x. So you can see the power of x has gone down by 1, so we're doing this in what we call the right direction, or we're doing it the correct way. If you found out that, if you'd chosen your u and v the wrong way around, that you would have found out that the x, this would have been a worse integral to have done than we started with, but we've got one better. However, we now this is another product. So we've got 2x and sine x as a product, so we're going to have to do what we call an embedded uh, integration by parts. So we're going to have to integrate this bit by parts uh, within the integration by parts question up here. So we're going to have to choose new u and new v. So I'm going to just change colour to help us do that. I'm going to call it we need I'm going to have u, I'm going to call it u prime or u dash. That's not to be confused with differential, I've just called it u something in order so it's different to this u. In this case we're choosing 2x and, and that means that we've got du prime dx, which is just 2. If we have dv prime x, uh, that's going to be our sine x, hasn't it? That's our sine x, which means that our v is then equal to, well, integral of sine is minus cosine, so it does get a little bit annoying. So, let's just be a little bit careful here. So we get, we've got the ln y 
and we've got the x squared sine x and then we're going to take away and I'm going to put it in brackets so I don't get anything confused and then well let's do this integration by parts okay so we've got the u and the v so it was actually primes so we've got u and v which is minus 2x cos x and you can see why I put this in brackets now because it's going to get a bit confusing with our negatives minus the integral of um, v du dx so v is this minus cos x and du dx is 2 so it's going to be another minus which makes this one a plus 2 cos x dx and this is why you've got to be really careful because this is actually a minus outside the bracket but this was a minus within a minus with another minus so we kind of have to just keep your wits about you let's close our brackets and now you can see that we've now simplified our integration it's now just going to be a 2 cos x which we can do it's no by parts so we've just had a chain of things to do so let's sort all this out then y is equal to x squared sine x plus 2x cos x 2x cos x and then the minus times the minus well cosine integrates to sine so luckily so cosine integrates to sine so it's just going to be minus 2 sine x plus our constant of integration c now we finished with our constant our integrations we've got one from here one from here so we can just combine them all up into one constant integration now this up here is the general solution of our differential equation it's the general solution we've got a log y sometimes you change it into a y equals in this case it's not going to serve our benefit we might as well keep it as log y so log y is equal to this this is our general solution of the differential equation we've now got some uh, boundary conditions or some initial conditions we're told from the question when y equals 1 x is equal to pi so we just have to go through and put all these things in log of 1 which we all know is 0 so 0 is equal to well x squared is pi squared sine of pi which is uh, 180 degrees or in radians pi which is times by 0 so that whole term comes to 0 plus 2 pi cosine of 180 you can check this on your calculators but the cosine of 180 is actually minus 1 minus 2 sine pi so two lots of well we already know that sine pi is 0 as well plus our constant of integration c so we can rearrange all this and we get 0 is equal to minus 2 pi plus our constant of integration which therefore c is equal to 2 pi itself so we can now write the particular solution we've now found our, put our conditions in and worked out what our value c is we can write our particular solution to our differential equation and that is ln y let's hope I can fit it all in is equal to x squared oops is x squared sine x plus 2x cos x minus 2 sine x plus our constant integration we can now write it out so we take our general solution and we now just replace c with the number that we know it is plus 2 pi and there's our particular solution of the differential equation we started with so we used our separated our variables up here and then importantly we had to use integration by parts a couple of times we had to use integration by parts within an integration by parts to find out what was going on uh, and then we got our general solution subbed in our values that we started with or we were told in the question found our c and that allowed us to find our particular solution really common this is quite a toughy question nine marks here all in one go not much else to go on so it's more than 10 percent of your exam paper here 
So it's really important you understand both these methods, separation of variables at the start and then the integration by parts here.